Slightly tougher questions will generally involve algebra. So here is a triangle. We know three of the angles, x plus 5, x minus 10, and x minus 25. And we need to find the value of x. So when you're dealing with this type of problem, it's very easy to just turn over the page and go, oh, I don't like the look of that, and I move on to the next question. When you see a triangle and it's looking at the angles, you know that the angles must add up to 180 degrees. They must add up to 180. So if you just write down the idea and the process of adding to 180, then we should at least get a method mark. So we know that if I add these three angles together, I should get 180. So adding x plus 5 x minus 25 and x minus 10 together, I should reach 180. So, what have I got? I've got my first angle, my second angle, my third angle. I've got an x, another x, and another x. So I've got three x's all together. And I've got 5 take away 25. Right, so 5 take away 25 is minus 20. Take away another 10 is minus 30. And that's got to be equal to 180. Okay, so we've simplified it down. We've collected like terms. So something take away 30 is 180. Well, that would have to be 210. 210 take 30 is 180. So 3x is 210. So 3 lots of something is 210. And that something is 70. So that would mean that x has to be 70 for this to work. And the 3 angles would be 70 plus 5, so 75 degrees. 70 take away 25, which is 45 degrees. And 70 take away 10, which is 60 degrees. And when you add those three angles together, you should get the 180. Okay? And that's how you solve a problem like this. Don't just turn over. Write down what is the obvious. And that is that the three angles must add up to 180. And then, once you're there, you can simplify it down to a two-step equation.